Paul George's knee injury pretty much confirms that the Philadelphia 76ers season is already over. This is sad because we're not even 50 games into the season. We haven't even got to the All-Star break yet. We are literally on the break of 20 games into this new season. And we've already had Joel Embiid come into the season with an injury. He missed the first couple of games. Paul George missed the first couple of games of the season. And last night... He hyperextends the same knee that he hyperextended in the preseason, which means that, number one, he's going to be out for an extended period of time. Number two, there's a high possibility that Paul George is going to have to get, uh, not career ending, but season ending surgery. He's probably going to have to get surgery on that knee because when you hyperextend the same knee twice in such a short amount of time, there's a high possibility that, you know, he probably actually broke something or you know injured something inside that knee so paul george's season is over right but guys what did we say when we first heard about this trade right not this trade because he got signed in the offseason but when paul george first signed to the philadelphia 76ers what do we say it's not gonna work why because paul george gets injured every single fucking season ever since he got that injury um, when he was on the Indiana Pacers, I think he broke his leg or some shit. Some crazy shit happened, right? He came back, ended up going to OKC, had an MVP caliber year, right? But since then, right, because he was actually healthy that entire season, right? They went to the playoffs. Then they got bounced out in the first and second round. Again, I remember they got bounced out against the Portland Trailblazers when Damian Lillard damn near hit a step back three from the logo in Paul George's face. I just remembered that. But other than that, I mean, when Paul George was on the Clippers, <laughs> majority of his time on that team, he was injured. I think the first season, um, I remember the season where they was in the bubble, Paul George was healthy the whole season. But after that, he's been injured every single year. And Paul George is not young anymore, guys. Paul George, I believe, is about, what is he, 34 now, 35? He's not young anymore. And Paul George, he's in the same category to me as Kawhi Leonard. Doesn't matter what team they're on, they cannot stay healthy. And what pisses me off, guys, is the fact that Paul George is always on this podcast, bro. A guy like Paul George that has never won an NBA championship, he's never won an MVP award, he's never won an all-star MVP award, right? For a guy like this that's been on three, four different teams, he hasn't won anything. And he's been on teams where he should have won. I don't like Paul George having a podcast. I don't like the fact that every day I go on YouTube, I see Paul George posting a new podcast. Paul George, brother, you need to be 1,000% locked into winning, bro. That should be your main priority, bro. Right? I understand that. A lot of these players, they want to set something up for when they retire. I get that. But, brother, you're making millions of dollars, right? And you're making a podcast every day. Your team is what? Well, the 76ers are, what, 2-12 and 12 now? Bro, your team is the worst team possibly in the league right now. You guys are terrible. Between, between them and the Milwaukee Bucks, I don't know who's worse. But you know what the difference is? Giannis and Damian Lillard don't got a podcast. See, I don't have a problem with Draymond Green having a podcast. You want to know why? Because he's a four-time NBA champion. He's accomplished. He could retire right now, and he, 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 he's, he's a four-time champion. One of the best defensive players in the league. And he played a huge role in all four of those championships. You know, I would even say Draymond Green is a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Some people might disagree with me, but Draymond Green has had a better career than Paul George. That's a fact. That is an actual fact. So I don't have a problem with Draymond Green having a podcast. I don't even have a problem with Patrick Beverly when he was still in the NBA having a podcast. You want to know why? Because Patrick Beverly was never a starter. He was always a, I mean, he was a starter, but he was never an all-star. He was never a superstar right he was always a role player right he was always you know either a starter or a role player right we never looked at Paul uh, Patrick Beverly as somebody that can possibly 
you know, win MVP or, you know, take his team to the championship, you know, and, and this is a guy that, w- that was a teammate with Paul George on the Clippers, right? Remember, Patrick Beverly was on that team um, the first two years when, you know, the Clippers and the Lakers was going at it. But we all know Patrick Beverly, you know, he, 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 he's, he was never as talented as a guy like Paul George. But Paul George, bro, this podcast shit, bro, it's annoying. I hate seeing guys like this that's active in leagues that aren't winning. They're not doing enough. Making a goddamn podcast, bro. So this season is over. Expect Joel Embiid. Guys, I'm going to be honest. Joel Embiid came out yesterday and said that he's pissed off at whoever leaked that conversation that him and Tyrese Maxey had where Tyrese Maxey basically told Joel Embiid that, you know, he's late for everything. Because whoever leaked it, Joel Embiid is basically saying that they pretty much over-exaggerated the situation because the leak said that it was a long conversation when in all actuality, Joel Embiid said it was a 30-second conversation, which means that Tyrese Maxey pretty much came in the locker room, called Joel Embiid out, and Joel Embiid probably just walked away and left, bro. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? It was a 30-minute conversation, bro. You feel me? So, Joel Embiid's not happy, bro. Um, You know, he's been with the 76ers from the start. This whole trust the process thing is pretty much done. And um, don't be surprised if Joel Embiid requests a trade to the Miami Heat. Now, the problem with that is the Miami Heat don't really have anything to give the 76ers for Joel Embiid. But I'm telling you guys, man, expect Joel Embiid to request a trade by the All-Star break. Remember I told you guys this, bro. I do not see Joel Embiid staying on this team much longer. It's been a disaster. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy Wavy. I'm out. Oh, yeah, click that thumbs up button and subscribe.